The Kastabi show is a game show where celebrities compete the title Panthers, Kastabi Panthers, for cash awards. They range between $20 to $50 each. Sometimes it's doubled. Tonight's contestants are three great New York intellectuals and wonderful people. Uh, the editor of Art News, Robin Semblis. Uh, this guy has been the editor of Art in America, Interview Magazine, and uh, the founder of reality television with his show called uh, Tea Party. And his credits go on for hours. We'll just cut to the chase and introduce Glenn O'Brien. <laughs> All right, oh. and then we have another great novelist, a great novelist um, who also writes for Art Forum magazine and the New York Times about art. Uh, one of the most uh, glamorous and intellectual people in New York City, Linda Yablonski. <laughs> All right, so the first painting that are in the title is a love scene uh, with a male angel embracing a, a female uh, mortal, a metaphysical milieu. Well, Fredo is showing it to the uh, jury and the contestants. Are there any titles to propose for this painting? Yeah, Glenn, what's your title? Well, uh, the angel's wings look like sort of a, the, the Roman Aquila. So I, I'm going to call this the Legion of Love. Beautiful title, Glenn. Thank you. How about Linda and um, Robin? Um, Linda, yeah. Oh. Title. Or Robin. I'm going to go with Emotional Rescue. Beautiful title, Robin. Thank you. And Linda Yablonsky, do you have a title for this painting? The Thunder of Passion. Oh, beautiful title. Okay, let's start on that first. And I buy The Thunder of Passion by Linda Yablonsky. $20. Everybody vote, please. Oh, incredible support. Uh, I'm going to buy it. $20 for Linda Yablonsky for The Thunder of Passion. Thank you. Here we have riding the wave, wave of economic bliss. Wave. Which is definitely, definitely not happening at the moment, except for the 1%. Right? So do we have any titles for this painting that speaks about riding the wave of economic bliss? Can I get yes, a closer uh, look at it, please? There you go. It's two figures uh -huh. riding the wave of economic bliss. Well, you've uh, just given through, your own yeah. title, Mark. <laughs> Uh, well, too, too literal. Oh, yeah. Notice that Wilfredo uh, Arias uh, has no hair. Has no hair. The man is young and bald, intentionally. All right, well, do we have a title? Yes, Robin, your, your title is? Um, everybody Come Surfing With Me. Uh, what? It's charming. Yeah. Uh, How about Glenn O'Brien? Do you have a title for this painting? Well, I'm a little, I'm a little crestfallen uh, that uh, we didn't <laughs> vote on my last title. Uh, uh, good, good, but I'm trying to get things flowing. And and she had wave. almost all, get all but one green hat. Or so I just used my intuition and went forward. Oh, can I change mine to catch a wave and you're sitting on top of the world? Okay, yes, you can change that. It's from the All Beach right. Boys. Now, Glenn, Crestfallen is a fabulous word. You have a title for this painting. No matter what, I promise we'll go on your title. Well, you said that that's too All negative. Green what? Uh, not Crestfallen. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, have we heard all the contestants? No. no. All right, Linda, your title is? Surf's Up. <laughs> Surf's Up. Okay. Linda, Alisa, are we there yet? Absolutely not. Oh, that's what I thought. Uh, 
Sorry to put the blame on you. I got. I have a title. What is it, Glenn? What is it? The permanent wave. Nice. Now we're getting there, right, Lisa? Yeah, there we go. Now, there we go. All right. Anything even better, Linda or Robin? Counting our blessings. That's nice too. Okay, Robin, do you have a round two title? No. All right. Um, Can I vote on uh, uh, Glenn? Could I ask you uh, uh, to repeat your title one more time? I'm not crestfallen. Oh, permanent wave. Oh. Can I buy permanent wave? Right. Glenn O'Brien for twenty dollars. No, I'll buy no, it for forty dollars. Forty dollars. Permanent wave. Thank you. Permanent wave. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Heidi, have you noticed how many eighties people we have in the room today? Yeah, it's awesome. You must be happy, right? Heidi loves eighties. Come into my own. And we have a lot of 80s people in the room today. 80s, 80s. What does that mean? Yeah, really. We live in this moment. We live in the <laughs> yeah, but, but people like Simon Sirigo and Glenn O'Brien, uh, you know, flourished for the first time in the 80s, maybe the 70s. But I, right. we live, I think we they live. rose in the 80s, right, Heidi? Okay. Mark, Mark, just because yeah. you were born in the 80s doesn't mean the rest of us are identified with it. <laughs> I was born in the 60s. I, I, artistically, I was born in the 80s. Let's go to the next one. Drawing. Actually, it's a drawing slash collage of two romantic figures in an Italian city, namely Teramo in Abruzzo. And they are engaged in romantic bliss while somebody is photographing them with a smartphone. And there's ancient Italian history in the background. Any titles? I have a title mark. What would that be, Glenn? Monte Smucciamo da Bruzzi. <laughs> Genius. Genius. Talk about Glenn O'Brien. And uh, how about uh, Robin or Linda? Uh, caught in the act. That's good. Caught in the act. And is that Linda, you is, is, you have a title? is that person using a camera phone or just looking at their phone? No, he's he, he or she. It's a she, I think. Is using a smartphone camera to take a picture of that romantic Kodak moment in front of uh, the Duomo of Teramo, which is a city in Abruzzo, Italy. Mm. Oh. Uh, okay. That's all, baby. Uh, Let's quickly get titles from Robin Sendler, so when he's lunch, get uh, both. You didn't like Caught in the Act? No, it's good, it's good. Okay, you have one. And Linda, your title is? Uh, a public affair. Mm -hmm. That's good. It's great. Can I buy a public affair by Linda Yablonski for $20? Quite possibly. Everybody vote, please. Uh, can I buy Glenn's title, which I can't repeat, but you all remember it, right? Monte, he can remember. Monte Smucciamo da Bruzzo. Can I buy that for $20? Most likely, and just in case, Robin, your title was? Caught in the act. Caught in the act. Can I buy caught in the act? Everybody no. vote, please. No. Uh, the, the money goes to Glenn O'Brien for whatever he said. Glenn. Okay. Glenn, you're looking very elegant today, as always, of course. Thank you, Mark. I'm going to be filmed for the Today Show today. I know, I know, after right? the Kasabi show, the Today, Today show. Can you bring it's the like the 80s all over again. Media bliss. I can't By the way, Glenn, we, here okay. in Italy, we, we just love reading your poems every week in Vanity Fair Italian, in Grande Glenn. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I really appreciate the advice. The love life has been all of Italian. My, my book is coming out there soon. Oh, that's great. How to be a man, right? Yes. In Italian, that would be come uh, si può essere un bambino. How to be a baby. Bambino. <laughs> men, men don't really have in Italy, Glenn. You know that? Maragazzo. You know Italian men? I don't think you've ever dealt with them, but Italian men who are 40 years old still bring their laundry to their mother to, to do it. Not 40, 30. Come on. 40. 
No, no. Most of my letters in Italian Vanity Fair are women complaining about their boyfriend's mother. Yeah. Oh, because <laughs> they won't do the laundry. So the next painting is. Oh, speaking of Italian love, it's the love scene in Italy, a happy Italian family with the Picurico paintings on their wall. The mother and a father with their two kids, Glenn. Did you notice that two kids? Yeah. Daughter and son enjoying a box of chocolate in Italy. Can you get any more bliss, domestically blissful than that? It's pretty blissful. Pretty blissful. So what would the title be? Life is a box of chocolates. Oh! <laughs> I'm very apt and per perhaps perfect. Glenn, do you have a title? That is my title, sorry. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 life? I mean, you, life I, is a box of chocolates by Robin Semplis for $20. Very possibly. Linda, your title was? Fantasia for the family, which I don't think. Can I buy Fantasia like. for the family for twenty dollars by Lydia Blonsky? How how about I uh, can I change it? Yes, go. Sweet nothings. Can I buy sweet nothings by Lydia uh, Blonsky? Okay. I'm gonna buy Robin Shepard's title, Life is a Box of Chocolates. Thank you, Robin. Thank you. Yay. The next painting is in urgent need of a title. All painting, right? It's a drawing. Yes? What is it? All right. It's a drawing featuring a family, Tony family. Tony invented the uh, um, what are those things called again, little fellow? Mm -hmm. Hex bugs. Tony invented the hex bugs, which is a po very popular bugs. new toy. The what? Tony and his family live in Texas. Things. And this is the family portrait. I almost said they invented what? Tony, Tony invented the hex bugs. Which is a hot new toy. So we don't like T.I. Uh, uh, Joe and Barbie. But we're talking 2012. Remember back in the 60s, we had G.I. Joe and Barbie. In 2012, we have Head Buzz, and this guy, Tony, collector, and the big zombie collector, and that's the Head Buzz. And this drawing is homage to his family. Do we have any title? Is that the Olympic sign behind them? Yeah, it's the Head Buzz Olympic, Olympics. I have a title mark. Yes, go ahead. What is it? Uh, performance Enhancing Bugs. <laughs> it's spectacular. I'm going to say Sweet Victory. Beautiful. And uh, Linda Yablonski, do you have a title? Mahjong for Everyone. <laughs> All right. Can I buy Sweet Victory by Robin Semblis for $20? Very possibly. Three objections. Oh, okay. And Glenn, your title again was? Performance Enhancing Bugs. Brilliant. Can I buy Performance Enhancing Bugs by? Genius Glenn O'Brien, very, very likely, just, but just let's first on, on Linda's title, also Linda, your title was? Mahjong for Everyone. Yeah. Mahjong for Everyone, I'm Linda Yablonski. The money goes to Glenn O'Brien for performance and hands Are you sure? That was awfully close. <laughs> I'm totally sure there were... Yours was really great, but you had two reds, and Glenn only had one red, oh. so that's why Glenn won. But yours was fabulous, Linda. Linda wants me to give her a stroke. Well, you were in second place, Linda, in a strong second place. <laughs> this ain't golf, like You were huh? almost like Santorum. It doesn't pay to uh, be in second strong, place. <laughs> strong second place. All right, the next page are four musicians in Venice, the new modern quartet, featuring Tony Esposito, Antonio Nicola Bruno on bass, Paul Castabian guitar, and Mark Castabian piano playing music in Venice, one of the most beautiful cities in the world. We have a title. Uh, what news from the Rialto? Beautiful. That's correct, brother. Is that the Rialto? Yeah. The Rialto. Yeah. yeah, we get all your drinks for, uh, for Pay a lot. Well, nothing. All right. Uh, Glenn, do you have a title? 
Yes, I do, Mark. What would that be, Gwen? There are no squares in Venice. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Okay, have up, up, up the two. But we also have the great novelist, Linda Yablonski, with us. Linda, do you have a title? The Sound of the Rialto. Okay, can I buy The Sound of the Rialto by Linda yeah, Yablonski for $20? Everybody vote, please. Everybody. Someone's not voting. Uh, yeah, there's that. Oh. Uh, he likes it, the guy that wasn't voting. All right, it's possible. All right, Robin, let's, let's vote on your time, Robin. What was it again? What news from the Rialto? It's from what Shane? news from the Rialto by Robin? Send my laps. It's from the Merchant of Venice. Yeah, yeah. oh, thank you for the, uh, the backstory. From the Merchant of Venice, can I buy it? No, apparently they don't dare. You're too smart for the room, uh, Robin. Uh, Glenn, your title was? There are no squares in Venice. There are no squares in Venice. Everybody vote, please. I just love this enthusiastic jury. Yes, <laughs> and it goes to Glenn O'Brien for there are no squares in Venice. Yay, Venice! Yay, Glenn! And the next Venice, game, anyone? we're drawing the urgency of the titles. Mm. Pretty soon we're going to be raising the stakes to 50, but at the moment we have this drawing of two kind of down and out people who are alone together, sitting on a windowsill, contemplating uh, their homework and the sphere of perfection that's sphere. perched there on the sidewalk, ready to roll down. Probably happening in San Francisco. Any titles? What is... Um, don't think too hard? No. That's a beautiful title, Robin. Love it. Okay, Glenn. Don't what? think too hard. No. Glenn, speaking no. about thinking, one of, one of your strong qualities, Glenn, is your, your brilliant mind. Do you have time for this drawing? Yes, I do, Mark. What would that be, Glenn? My title is, Didn't We Have a Ball? <laughs> <laughs> that is so good. I'll be surprised if it doesn't win, but let's be fair, because it's a competition. Linda Yablonski. Naked Thoughts. That's also good. All right. Let's vote on Glenn's title. Can I buy it? Didn't we have a ball for $20? Which is $40. It's going to be $20 to Glenn. No, $40 to Glenn O'Brien. Thank you, Robin. 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 Thank I don't get it. That title is so ironic. So Alright, now, this is painting of two people having a kind of ball. Having a what? With a, a different kind of ball. Oh. With a gigantic Chirico. black Chirico. glove pointing down. Inspired by uh, De Chirico, Georgia De Chirico. Let's title this drawing of a love scene happening in a De Chirico environment. Linda, do you have a title? Tell me your name again. <laughs> That's good. That's great. I can relate to that. Okay, no. Glenn or Robin, do we have time to this I, I, have, I have a question. Lisa, do you know where, the, where this, that thing comes from? No. Well, it's from a Tachirico painting. Yeah. Okay. It, it's very Ray Johnson. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, really Ray Johnson. I, I call I, Glenn. My title is... I love you this much. Oh, I was gonna say. Oh, I, oh, I was gonna Robin. say I, I love you very much. I well, that's you different. Very we much. Can, that's valid. Say it again, Robin. I love you very much. I love you very much. Robin Douglas, I love you very much. Can I buy that for twenty dollars? Near Rad, near Rad. If you don't vote, you're off the jury. Uh. Forty dollars to Robin Douglas. I love you very much. You can pine know that up. you might be jealous of Robin. No. But you can't be jealous. That's why they made her editor of our news. No, that she was comes brilliant. Up with, uh, I used to fact brilliant. check yeah. Glenn O'Brien. I love you very much. Genius. <laughs> Robin, you're a genius. You know, That's, I, I uh, used to fact check Glenn O'Brien at our forum. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Uh, hey, wait, wait, wait. Let's stay on this. Robin, <laughs> when you fact check Glenn O'Brien, was he factually inaccurate often, or was he on the on target? I think he was on target. He got it right all the time. All right, let's look at this artwork. It's a drawing of the new modern quartet playing in heaven. 
Notice that's heaven in the background, the white light coming from mm. <coughs> the past, the future. Sounds like a talking head song to me. There is no future in the past. Yeah. All right, any draw, any titles uh, for Can this I band say? scene uh, featuring the new modern quartet? Jamming for bread. Nice. That's brilliant. That's so good. I've got one. Jamming for bread. Yes, yes. What is it? Play Misty for me. <laughs> That's beautiful. Gorgeous. Linda. And Robin Semblis, do you have a title? Um, the Paradise Quartet. That's interesting. Yeah, Let's good. start with that. Can I buy it? The Paradise Quartet for $20 by Robin Semblis. It's quite possible, although three people object. Uh, uh, Glenn, you, you, what was yours? Was great. Jamming, jamming for bread, right? Jamming for bread, yeah. Can I, brought, can I buy jamming for bread? Jamming for bread. Also, three objections. I love it. Those three objections. Jamming and Linda, play. yours was play Misty for me. That's good. Can I buy play Misty for me? By yes, that's the title. Twenty dollars for the Play Misty for me. Beautiful, uh, appropriate title. It will help sell the drawing. Even though Jammin' for Bread was very clever. Now, I didn't get now that we one. have a love scene taking place in a generic metaphysical milieu, surrounded by gold leaf and a, a, a turf, an aquamarine staircase. Is that Lisa Rosen up front there on the blue table? Lisa, would you care to analyze? Hi, Lisa. Great to see you. Uh, would you care to analyze this painting? I was just thinking how beautiful it was. I can see it. Oh, yeah. show it close to Lisa. Yeah. We'll I love the, the way you, the shading on the gold leaf in the background. That's not easy to do at all. It's yeah, that's not easy to do no. either. And the light coming in from, on the arches, that orange and purple on the arches on the left. It's beautiful. Thank I don't have Lisa. analysis, but it's... That, that's a, a nice response. I, I have an analysis too. Inspired. Yeah. Well, you know, it, it, the buildings, for as as romantic as they are, also they have, they have a sort of a, a prison quality tonality to them. And so I, I, I would call this painting No Escape. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the analysis and the interlocutor title. All right, back to the luminaries. Do we have any titles? Yes, Glenn. Perfect romance in three easy steps. <laughs> three easy steps, uh, funny. That's the, is that your next book? <laughs> that sounds like the title of your next book. No, that's L. Ron Hubbard. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, it's brilliant. I love it. I totally love it. Let's also consider your colleagues, the, the great Robin Sunless and the great Lee uh, Blunt. Any titles, Robin? Let's get metaphysical. That's fabulous. Totally love it, Robin. Thank you. Linda Yablonski. Well, I think it's a beautiful painting, too, but one of them doesn't seem very interested in the yeah, other. that's right. Isn't that always the case? <laughs> yeah, so I would call it an imperfect romance. Hmm. I, don't, I don't know if that's going to help you sell the painting. Oh, well, oh, oh I see. Uh, we are in a bad I got, I got it. I got it. Okay, let me... Offer a different one. <laughs> Stepping up to love. What? Stepping up to love. That's good. All right, let's start by voting on Robin Semblis title. Robin, what, uh, can you repeat your title again? Please. Let's get metaphysical. Let's get metaphysical by Robin Baby. Semblis with her. $40 for Robin Semblis. Thank you, Robin. Yay, metaphysical. Yay, Olivia Newton John. What, what we've done now is raise the stakes to fifty dollars. Whoever can title this painting. It's the Bugatti. It's the Bugatti, right, Simon? Thank you. And it also features futurism and two females. Futurism sells a fast car. Any title post for $50 or $90? Yes, 
Hey, Glenn, are you like, interested in cars? Bugattis? Am I interested in Bugatti? Well, being a style guy like you, you know, you a luxury guy. No, it's too luxurious for me. Uh, too rich for uh, my blood. How much does that car cost, Mark? Uh, I'm not sure. I didn't buy the car. I think it's over $2 billion. Ooh. Does that mean the painting is going to be more expensive? Than yeah, it's got to be, it's got to be at least three now. What year is it? It's today. It's current. It's current. The current Bugatti. It's a I current. Know this car. I know my cars. I paint cars. I love cars. Is that what you do for a living? Cars are Friday iconic. Year? Okay, Simon, shut the f up. So for fifty dollars, you can title this painting it an homage to fast cars, Bugatti, futurism, and females. Auto erotic. Auto erotic is good. Very good, Bob. Thank you. Glenn, can you talk auto-erotic by Robin Sedlitz? Uh, yeah, I'm just trying to get the words just right, but I would say I was run over by the future. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And now, Linda Yablonski has had her extra 45 seconds thing. Linda, do you have a title at this point? Racing toward the light of love. We're racing just racing toward the light. Of love? <laughs> yeah. Right? I have Okay, I have let's try that. Let's go racing, to racing toward toward the light. Let's go to Robin's title oh. first. Robin, can you repeat your title, please? Auto erotic. Auto erotic by Robert Semwes. That worth fifty dollars. One hundred dollars to Robin Sandler. Oh. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Double the money.